Are we ready for the eighth episode? All right, guys, let's get started with the with the next episode. Okay, so this very last episode of The Boys is called What I Know. It's an hour and seven minutes long. Oh my God, am I ready for this episode? I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't know what to expect, except maybe a war. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna get into it. Please be advised this video production is real. How to survive a supervillain attack at school. With Homelander to talk oh about my school God. Safety. On the first report, sure, should have an authorized firearm. Wait for a hero. Wait for a hero. <laughs> the supervillain attack grows more likely every day. But by having it. Oh my god. Wait till they find out that these dudes were the ones that fucking jacked up the the foreign soups. We talked to him. One, the president doesn't like it. <laughs> he used the word standoffish. <laughs> oh, is that Bobby? From, from, from Supernatural? I'm pledging to keep America safe. Keep America safe. There's no terrorist, it was bought. It's a fucking... Yeah, Jet. A bunch of their guys died too. To cover their own tracks. A tape of me fucking my kids. Bob. Man, their daughters, Kinsey and Anna. Release it, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> you could get Jesus Christ himself, or maybe Homelander in front of a camera, sure. I really am sorry. Not very helpful at all. God damn. I don't want to leave you here. I'll be fine. A new one. I... But. I just want you to have it. I love you too. I genuinely think she really thought she was doing the best thing for her daughter, which is the saddest th part, you know? You just kill everyone. That is exactly what we're going to do. Let's we'll shoot right runner in the fucking head. That won't stop Vought, that, that won't stop Compound V. Oscar's gonna make a thousand more. Yeah, and we're gonna top those cunts too. Wow. We're just super villains now, huh? Escape convicts don't have a ton of credibility. <sighs> yeah. Most of all, lamp lighters are charcoal briquettes, starlights in the breeze somewhere, and you're what? Fine with it? That means it's Edgar. Edgar. Maybe. I mean, he is pretty smart, especially for his kind. We have to make sure that the right people get the doses, but. It is a whole new world. Frederick had a solution for everything. Frederick. Really important that I've been meaning to ask you. Will you be my boyfriend? You are not 57 years old. So, uh. come on, why is it always, always Billy Joel? We've already tried to take Vought down the right way. Just kill them all, let God sort them out? You had every reason to give up on me. So why didn't you? Cause I, cause I love you. I love you. That's why I'm helping. Everyone's looking for you. Hi, Hugh. <laughs> more of a twink than in the photo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I need to ask you something. I need you to testify against Homelander, Stormfront, everything. And why would I do that? That's a big ask. You're a last chance that it's dangerous it's suicide i'm tired we're all tired she's retired they're hurting people <laughs> or at least she wants to be they're gonna hurt someone am i talking to you this is a worn out Shut and we fuck up didn't i save your fucking life Fwah! nothing ever changes or gets better oh she's broken hearted man she's fucking over it Damn! Damn it! Twink has left the chat. Oh. Hey, let her in. Oh, oh, Beck is back. Oh! <laughs> they took him. Damn, Ryan. Damn. Thank God. Thank God they're back together. <laughs> well, at least, you know. You know what I mean. Restaurant? No, thank you. Awful stuff. I feel like Fresca is like a like a juice that they use to brainwash people. What sort of commission is the church getting these days? Forty percent? Fifty? It's like you're open to reinstatement. That's fantastic. He gives me Hugh Jackman vibes as well. One has been back is redemption. Two is weakening. Hey, maybe maybe the Church of the Collective was behind the uh, attack. Deep is still a win. Shall I have the business affairs reach out? Please do. No 
walk you out. Yeah. We've heard a lot about you. Yeah, sorry, I, I wish I could say the same. Are you all close with Billy? Yeah. <laughs> We're his best friends. Let's just say he ain't really close to a lot of people. I'm close to him. <laughs> Frenchie. All right, all right. <laughs> Frenchy, God damn, I love you. Rest up. I'm gonna go do a little digging. Little digging. Okay, I have no right to ask you to help me after what I said. This is like Arthur and Mary all over again. I will find your son. Oh, Little kissy kiss. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? William Butcher. Can you believe Ryan has never seen cats? What your hair? Oh my god, she's got trichotillomania. Poor lady, she's been under a lot of stress. Fuck. The heroes? I feel really she bad for her. Mama yours, she sure does have some cute little sayings. <laughs> cute little sayings. <laughs> Call her. Up all day by myself in this West Elm Death Star. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, just distract him with rides and food and toys. Cool, huh? yeah. It would be cooler if my mom was here. Oh, a fan. Hey, kidding. Of course you can. Oh. I love you. Oh, this is kind of weird. Kids first. This is a bit overwhelming. He's not used to so many people. He's literally only been around one person. Oh god, oh god, he's gonna use his powers. He's gonna use his powers. Oh no! No, 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 no! Kid! Oh, good man. Finally. Finally! He's doing something right for the kid. Moms. The gift that keeps on giving forever. I don't think he has a mom, does he? I've only seen his dad. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Preaching about my mom when yours is... Dad? My mom's not dead. She's not? Oh! So... She left when I was six. Oh. That's still sad, though. That's where Billy Joel comes from. She and I, we used to have these dance parties. Oh, this season's great. We get to, we're getting to know... A, about their childhoods. Just left and never called again. Not even a card. Wonder why. Fuck them. Time to go. Oh, no wonder he clings on to people. It's kind of. Oh. Pathetic, isn't it? No, no. Well. Something shit! Like oh my god! Holy fuck! Hey, I saved your life, asshole. Now you're coming after us. Oh my god. Oh, uh, even now, bitch. What? What's this? Holy shit. I didn't get it, okay? I was never here. Oh, he's helping. He was helping. So I need her gone. Fuck that Nazi bitch. Oh, hell yes. Of course he would be helping. Of course. Oh, thank fuck. I assume you've got a man out there with a clean shot. More than one. Homelander's a friend. Why would I betray him? Because you're a ruthless bastard. You turned a racist piece of shit into America's sweetheart. Uh-huh. What word would you use? And he's a man of color too. Doesn't he know that Stormfront fucking hates him? Compound B raises our stock price. <sighs> I'd have preferred B. It's all about the money, money, money. I can't lash out like some raging and a white man's luxury. When, Mr. Butcher, in history, has it ever been about anything different? That you can control that racist bitch? Yeah. Look, I can get the boy away from Homelander, all right? How? And then you do a bit of fucking job behind him this time, yeah? You have my word. I will get Rebecca and Ryan somewhere safe. No. Huh. Not Beck. Find them and you fucking run. I'm taking my wife back. <gasps> That's the deal shows up at my doorstep begging to be reunited with her boy. Yeah, exactly. What are you what are you going to do about that? You can guarantee Ryan's protection from Homeland. Wow. As you Wow. A mother will do anything to protect her son. And you call me a ruthless bastard. 
I can't believe Butch. I can't believe him. I actually didn't think he would do something like that. That that requires lying to Becca too. He wants to be left alone. Your blood. Just talk to him. He's Cuda. He wants to Cuda. Oh, cutie, cutie, cutie. This is like um atypical the show when Simon was it Simon? No, whatever. The, Sam. Sam would like repeat the penguins' names. You know, I remember the first time I was in a crowd. I was terrified. I took off, flew away, crying my little eyes out. Mm. He had a pretty fucked up childhood as well. Yes. Never seen him cry. Maybe next time you'll fly away. With me? I'll teach you. Oh. I love you. Oh. Is he gonna say back? Maybe? No. This is a jackpot. Well done, you two. Now we finally get a chance to do something good. And you think we're gonna take a pass on that? We're in. Let's get a shift on. Oh. You had a bloody good teacher, didn't you? <laughs> Especially Huey. He's, he's good for you. If Ryan doesn't know you, he'll never come to you. It's too dangerous and I ain't gonna lose you. And I'm coming. Now, your plan isn't going as, as intended. I need you to promise me that you will save him no matter what and you will get him back to me. Because this isn't just about me, right? Like, he, he can't grow up like Homelander. You have to think of all of the people out there that he would... Kill? You swear to me on your brother's soul. Ooh. Is he going to do it? He's not a religious man. I swear to you. So. I swear to you on Lenny soul. Wow. Straight up look her in the eyes and fucking lie. Damn. Stormfront. Oh. Oh, freeze. Sorry, I'm still learning. Oh, he's so cute. He's he's a quick learner though. That's it. Look at his little face squinching up. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to imagine someone you hate. Okay? So try that. Yeah, I don't think he hates anyone. Jar here. So you can hate away. Oh my god. But I don't really hate anyone. Oh, they want to wipe us from this earth just because of the color of our What? Skin. It's called white genocide. What? Even Homeland is like, what the fuck? Hmm. All right. Uh, he's just like uh, okay anyway Are you fucking kidding me oh my god what? excuse me don't swear in front of the kid he's very innocent i see a frenchie we gotta go now you close one moment one moment concerning stormfront and alleged nazi stormfront with nazi high command including goebbels and goering oh my god he's of course the founder of vaught international Already an intense international outcry. Wow, wow. <laughs> wow. It's catchy. <laughs> How good. Was she part of the attack? Oh, ouch. The hell? No. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my god! God damn! It's loud. Oh, oh baby! That's my husband. Right. Rest in peace, headphone users. Motherfuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Take my car. Get them both to Mallory. Get them both safe. No, that's not part of the plan. No, you have to come with us. I cut a deal with Stan Edgar. What? I cut uh, a deal that when I got Ryan, that I would call Vought, they were going to come and take him away, and that you'd never fucking see him again. Oh, fuck. Fuck me, I, I couldn't do it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that he didn't go through with it. Mr. Butcher! You hear? Ooh. I hear you say, Butcher. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The oh, fuck is going on? He's gonna kill some. He's gonna kill some coppers. Uh oh. Where's my son? Oh my god. A cunt like me around that kid. I don't want to pass my shit. 
Oh. I'll not make sure they never find you. Don't you say that? Stop it. Oh. Oh my God! I'm getting goosebumps. Let me do this. You gotta let me do this one fucking thing. Oh my lord. Oh. So fucking sad. They just keep being split apart. God damn, butcher. You have a heart after all. Oh shit. Oh my god! Oh! 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 Holy fucking shit! There you are, you slippery little bitch! The pictures are clearly deep fakes and you're a lying slut. Oh god. My god, oh my god. Fucking hell. Oh, thank god! They just don't like the word Nazi. That's all. Are you right? Oh fuck, is Ryan okay? Thank god everyone's alive. How is Becca still okay? Like, seriously though. How is that possible? What is the truth? Oh, is she gonna kill her? Don't do anything, Kimmy. Don't you might die. <laughs> She's having a breakdown. Says the truth wow, is, he's such a quick sticker, boot up your Nazi kitty. Oh! <laughs> <Ooh>! <laughs> Motherfucker! Shit! God, oh my li- Oh shit! No! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Wow! Do it for your little bro! Kimmy! Fuck! Fuck! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh p please Kimmy. Oh, I wish more soups would come. Can more soups come? Oh! <laughs> fuck! What the fuck? Hey, crowd. Oh, Maeve! Oh, Maeve! Maeve, baby! Yes! 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 Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Oh my god! This is just like Battle of the Bastards all over again. I'm just like, oh! <laughs> yes! Queens! Fucking kick that Nazi bitch! Fuck! The men are just like... <laughs> Oh, she f she ejected out of that one. Whew. Bye. Oh. Oh. God, that was exciting. Oh my lord, he fucking killed everyone in that room. Come here, Ryan. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh shit. Walk away from my son. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! 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 You fucking bitch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. oh, Ryan, use your powers, baby. Use your powers, please use your powers. Use your... <sighs> oh, shit, Ryan. Oh, mother fuck. Holy fucking shit. What the fuck just happened? Is she dead? Holy fuck. How is Stormfront German? She does not look German. Or Aryan. Fucking. Ew, disgusting bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, baby boy. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 don't 
don't do it. <laughs> I can't stop crying. <sighs> oh, God. Do this. <sighs> Come. Oh, fuck. Come here. No. <sighs> He's mine. You save that little shit. You fucking murdered your wife. I promise. Oh, baby. Have it your way. Stop. Oh, fucking thank God for Maeve. And what? Thank God for Maeve. You're gonna let them go. Don't die with them. Let them go. You're gonna stop hunting Starlight. Good, good. Leave me and Elena alone. Or I release this. If you do that, I'll destroy everyone. Oh my god. Everyone. So what a fucking monster you are. Oh my god. Never loves you again. Oh wow. You're making him mad. God, I love Maeve. Let him go. Oh, fuck. I believe that Stormfront was a sole perpetrator of the attack on Washington. The release of Compound B has been placed on indefinite hold. Good. And Homelander was with her. To the heroism of Queen Maeve and Starlight, Stormfront has been neutralized. I'd like to apologize to Starlight. Thank you. Wrongfully accused of sabotage. Thank you. Thank fuck for that. Most loyal friends that I could ever have. <sighs> that relationship. Of that trust. Look at his jaws, man. Look at his psychotic eyes. The fucking music. He's not done. Always happy to see you, sir. <laughs> I'm afraid we have. The had Deep is such a kiss ass. <laughs> Isn't that right, Adrian? Oh, she. That was you, dude. I didn't know, sir. Fuck him. <laughs> the deep is so funny. <laughs> needs to take a firm anti-Nazi stance right now. Yes. Wait. You're back in. Fuck yes! What? Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yes! All right. What about Ooh. deep? Finally. I'm anti-Nazi. I'm sorry, deep, but they only had one slot. So they took him? Fuck yes, they did! Um, A-Train is black. Right now, they have to... They have to take a stand with diversity after all of this Nazi shit. We'll get you into a few more courses. Up to level seven. No, I don't want to pay for any more fucking courses. Take a deep breath. Deep. More books, I married some weirdo who gives terrible blowjobs. <laughs> you are acting like a toxic personality. I think you should leave. Whoa. Fuck Fresca. Oh! <laughs> now, now he's in trouble. Are you sure it's safe for you to go back into the tower? If you jump ship and you let the asshole steer, then you're part of the problem. Mm-hmm. These two cute motherfuckers. <sighs> Sticking with people just because I'm terrified of losing. Hey, it's called self-growth, bud. Yeah. Do that. It's called self bro it's called self growth. Self realization. Self development. And on my own too, if you want. But what if I want to cling on to you? We'll just be friends then. Oh oh god. Uh I'm still gonna cling on to you. I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm scared. Butcher taking on a soup, a little soup. Never thought I'd see that happening. He wants you, Mom. This is some good stuff. Very sweet. Oh, is he gonna give give him to Mallory? Mallory could use a grandson. Don't be a cunt. <laughs> oh, he's already influencing him. You think he'll turn into his father? <sighs> Not with you. Like I didn't think so. The you did oh god. Oh god. Victoria Newman is the new czar. Oh. For a team that can keep tabs on the suit. Oh, funded. Funded. Lovely. Oh, here we go. I'm glad um 
I'm glad uh, MM is with his kids again, by the way. I was busy. Oh my god, is he fucking wanking? Oh, yuck. Oh! oh my god. Oh. Oh, so they're, um, they're in talks. Ah! What the fuck? Oh my god. That bold chick from the hospital? Oh lord. Oh my god. She's a fucking soup? Oh no. I did not see that coming. Holy shit, it was her all along. That's fucked. You can... Oh, he wants a job. a job. Uh, what about your team? I want to do it the right way. I think it's time I stand on my own two feet. Well, that's nice. I haven't told him yet. When can you start? Uh-oh. Oh, my. Season three will be interesting, won't it? All right, I'm gonna pause this so I can talk about this episode. God damn it! What a fucking season final. That was intense. I went through all the motions with that one. My god. No more church, I guess. Exactly. Season three. That is gonna be fucking interesting. I am well and truly invested into this show now. I'm 100% gonna be watching season three when it comes out. Probably not um as a live watch party. I'll probably do... I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see how we go. Um, fucking hell, a lot happened in that episode. Thank fuck Stormfront is now in prison because she's a fucking Nazi. Thank God the church is no longer around. Happy for A-Train um, in order. She's not, Stormfront's not dead. She's in prison. She's still around. They, I don't think they can kill her. I feel like she is invincible. So I don't know if we'll see her back in season three, but you never know, man. Anything's possible. Anything's fucking possible. I, I have to say, I loved the scene with the, with Maeve, Starlight, and Kimiko fighting uh, Stormfront to the, to the point where she had to flee. I thought that was so badass and amazing. It was like a super hype moment for me. I was like, fuck, yes, Maeve does the right thing. Um, and if she ever doesn't do the right thing it's out of fear and i can't blame her at all um the whole airplane incident seems to be coming back and seems to still be traumatizing her i mean it impacted her relationship so you know i can't imagine that she can really forget that quite easily um oh god rest in peace becca god damn my heart broke my heart broke into a million fucking pieces when she died I couldn't stop crying at Becca's death. I was like, I thought that I would be able to stop, but fucking hell that I couldn't stop. I was like hyperventilating whilst I was crying. It took me a while to contain myself. I had to do the breathing exercises. Um, this, this was a lot to handle. It was a lot to process. Um, but in the end, Homelander... He let them go because we all fucking know what the number one priority is for Homelander. And that's his ego, his self-image, feeling loved. And I can really understand that psyche. I can understand that state of mind and being, having had his upbringing of never having people love or nurture him. The next thing they need to do is get rid of fucking Homelander, man. Uh, they're all still in the seven. Maven Starlight are back working with him. And it's weird because... They all hate him, but they're just working symbiotically together somehow because that's just all they can do. That's the only thing they can do. Man. Oh, and also Frenchie. He's such a quick learner. He like got onto that. He got onto that sign language really quickly. And I'm really impressed. I can't imagine how many, how many actual days in the, in the show it took him to learn. But for me, it felt like one day. <laughs> He's a really quick learner, but also keeping in mind that he is bilingual and prob probably, probably, no, he's, he's bilingual and now he's like trilingual, I guess. So that makes sense. God, I actually really love this show. Uh, in the beginning, when I watched season one, I was like, oh, I don't know if it's worth putting myself through the trauma because 
I can't get around any of these characters besides Frenchie and Kimiko, but now I really love Maeve and Elena. I love little Ryan. I loved Becca. I love Butch as well. Like he's a hard ass, but at the end of the day, he's got that soft spot and we saw that come through. We saw that shone through. Um, you know, he didn't kill his father. I thought he was going to do that. He didn't give Ryan away to Vought. He uh, he did the right thing when it came down to it. And uh, so I think that's a huge character progression on his part, having had his upbringing. And speaking of upbringing, we got to see a lot of um, – background to these characters and you know me I'm a sucker for background stories I'm a sucker for story um, it just makes me more invested in the characters and season two did that for me I'm super invested in the characters I love the boys even Huey especially because he grew as well um, as a character we got to learn about his mother I, I always assumed his mother was dead she's not she just fucked off when he was six and that makes a lot of sense now his personality his clinginess his anxiety him thinking everyone will just walk away from him so he has to latch on and just not give them that chance to that makes a lot of sense um and then him having re had that realization um and him having say i actually need this for myself that is that's great you know i think i love i love shows and I love movies that show that gradual character progression um it's just it's really great to see on screen and I think the writing as well for this season was great the music Billy Joel actually just all the music not just Billy Joel all the music was really great um I even like the songs that they made specifically just for Starlight they were even catchy as well um I I don't know if there is a teaser for season three i think it would probably be too soon because it's i believe they released this very last episode pretty recently like maybe two ish weeks ago so i'm pretty late to reacting to it um but i didn't want to i didn't really i didn't really have the time to add that onto my youtube schedule so I just added it on to my Twitch schedule because I just finished Red Dead Redemption, of course. So I was like, fuck it, man. Let's just watch this together. How cool would that be? Yeah. And uh, and speaking of Homelander, someone mentioned, I love when people as evil as Homelander can have some relatable moments. I completely agree with that. Um, at the end of the day, he is... He is just a traumatized child. He's a traumatized kid. And he also had very vulnerable moments both with Stormfront and with um his son Ryan and we got to see that too which was a lot different to what we had ever seen in season one season one he was just like a milk fiend that was just fucking weird he still was in the beginning of this season but he uh he weaned off the milk and he killed his shapeshifter um so, you know, he grew a little bit as well. He then latched on to Stormfront and not he didn't even care that she was this Nazi, by the way, which is a little bit confronting, especially because he it, it, he was at that um, press conference speaking about everything that happened as though he had no idea that Stormfront was a Nazi. And and yeah, I can't ever look at Milk the same way again either, because I remember watching Alien and there was a scene. If you haven't seen Alien, spoiler alert, block your ears. Um, but when I watched Alien and Ash was like splurting out milk, I was like, fuck, I can't. I cannot with this. Um, yeah, I can't see milk in the same way. It's just, it's gross. It's really gross. But overall, I definitely enjoyed the season far more than season one. Yes, there were still a lot of gruesome moments, but... I was I was much more used to them and anticipating them and sort of ready to just close my eyes whenever need be. And then when you take that aspect out and it kind of numbs you and you're expecting it, you can kind of enjoy the show and the characters and the progression and the 
love stories and everything like that as they are because that becomes your focus and I think the same thing happened to me when I was watching Game of Thrones for the first time ever of course there's it's very very gruesome and it's very like oh my god what the fuck just happened but I got so invested in the characters and I started reading the books and I just fell in love with the world the lore and I just looked past all of the gore and all of the craziness. Can't do that with Walking Dead. I have tried, but I'm just not as invested. And I hate zombies. I hate slow fucking zombies walking around just killing things for no reason. No actual agenda other than the fact that they're zombies and they're dead. You know, at least with these soups, they have like these backstories and and the whole being injected as a kid and all of that shit. So it's a little bit different. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but that's just how I feel. But yeah, anyways, those were all of my thoughts on season two of The Boys. I would say let me know. Yeah, I'm going to put this in on YouTube. So let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe, follow, all of that shit. Um, my social media handles are here, right here. Uh, so go ahead and follow them because anytime I go live, you'll be the first one to know. And, um, okay, now I'm ready to say goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. And, um, yeah, I'll see you soon.